Hi everyone. I'm excited to welcome you to PrestoCon. I'm Devesh from Uber, and today I'll talk about how we use Presto SQL for everything. But first, let's take a look at our numbers. We operate about 15 Presto clusters spanning more than 5,000 nodes split across two regions. Our 7,000 users run about half a million queries daily, which read about 50 petabytes from HDFS. Let me now describe to you how Uber uses Presto SQL for everything. In our data ecosystem, we have data events coming from a Kafka stream. They're then ingested using Spark into raw hoodie hive tables on HDFS, which are then transformed by batch pipelines running hive or Spark into model hive parquet tables on HDFS. The Kafka streams can also be processed using a stream processing engine like Flink and may be landed into an OLAP system like Pino. Users can do interactive analytics on these model tables using Presto and emit the data into a variety of surface areas like dashboards, reports, analysis, and custom spreadsheets. We extended Presto for querying the hoodie tables efficiently. We also extended it to write data out directly to the Google spreadsheets by popular user demand. Presto is also used for real-time analytics over Pino. We recently added support to query Kafka directly using Presto for ad hoc analysis of real-time event data. And we too are seeing an increased adoption of Presto for the batch pipelines. Finally, we are developing a Presto SQL way to do streaming analytics over Flink. Thus, you can see how Presto SQL is used at Uber for everything. This has helped our data users to use a single tool and a language for disparate users shortening the learning curve to get insights out of their data. Uber has a booth at PrestoCon, so please reach out if this sounds interesting to you. We're actively hiring. In the past, we have focused on some salient aspects of the Uber's data ecosystem, like hoodie, parquet, geospatial indexing. We also developed the Pino and Kafka connectors. We are now focusing on better multi-tenancy and isolation. Of course, efficiency and hardware cost is really important to us. We want to invest into dynamically sizing of clusters and get more intelligent about load balancing across multiple clusters. And finally, on the operational front, we want to develop better tooling to do better testing and benchmarking and allow our on-calls to visualize the past queries better. Thank you.